At York House, we're thinking about 2030. What are the skills that our graduates are going to need when they leave York House? They're going to be facing a job market with jobs that don't even exist yet, with technologies that we can't even foresee. How do we prepare girls for this? And the answer is STEAM. You might hear a lot of schools are doing STEM education which is science, technology, engineering, and math. We need more women going into these fields in life. But at York House, we believe that that key ingredient, the A, is missing from STEM, and that is art and design. Because yes, you can follow the formula, but can you create a new one? Let's get that innovation, let's get that creative thinking into it. This year we did a project about landforms and we got inspiration from our science teacher. We made um, light designs, like, like uh, we had magnets and stuff like that and then we put them on a light up table and then like there was a the little design and you could see the light and it was going up. I built a model of the Arbutus Corridor and what we would like it to look like in a few years. We also think about how the animals would be affected by the city coming. We also made a national park where the animals <laughs> could stay. Yeah. STEAM teaches you to be adaptable, to be comfortable with ambiguity and not knowing. STEAM teaches you to collaborate with others and the value of different opinions. We did two STEAM projects this year, but one of my favorite ones was doing stop motion videos. I like it better when we're working in a team. You get to listen to other people's ideas and what they think. And if we were working by ourselves, I mean, it would be good, but not as great as doing it with a team. It's not about how we're gonna do on the test. It's not about are we gonna get graded on this. It's about making something and having an authentic experience in learning. It's a really safe environment and it's okay to make mistakes here. It doesn't matter if you're wrong or right. It's what you think will work. And you just keep on learning and it never stops. Lots of people, when they fail, they're like, okay, you know, this is it. This is not gonna work. Mistakes and failure is what makes you better, you know? Like, you can learn from them and improve your skills and how you create your masterpiece. We like do hands-on experience with like carving wood, carving like all these like soapstone and like using the jigsaws to cut wood and I think that's important so when we're older we feel more adventurous with those types of things rather than just being stuck like in a little mm -hmm. bubble. Lots of girls, they don't have the chance to do engineering because it's kind of a stereotypical thing. Some boys do engineering, but like so many females are so capable of it. It will just make our world so much more equal because I feel that you should do what you love and work shouldn't be as a job. It should be just like doing your passion every single day. You can learn different things in one class and that's really cool and it can like prepare you for the future if you ever want to be an engineer or a mathematician or a scientist or an artist. <laughs> I think I have the best job in the world. I get to see their imaginations and their creations and these ideas that they have come to life and I'm shocked and wowed every day at what I see from these girls. How they collaborate with each other, how they're learning to embrace failure and to persist when things aren't working. It's an honor to be working with those girls every day.